Help me. <gasps> Help me. <gasps> Help me. No, 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 no! Help me. No, 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 leave me alone! Help no, me. no, leave me alone! about it i mean come on what is that rubbish completely ridiculous hey good morning sunshine trust me i'm feeling far from sunny right now what's in the papers today anything interesting uh, yeah uh, killer papers can wait. Are you sure you're okay? You have not been yourself lately. I'm fine. Rough night, huh? You no, know, that usually means that there's someone keeping you late at night. You and I both know that I do not have that certain someone in my life right now. My life is too plain for a man to find the least bit interesting right now. Hello. Would you like a cup of coffee? At least to poke you up. Mm-hmm. What about whiskey on the rock? I think that sounds more appropriate for the kind of mood I'm in right now. Hmm. Early morning whiskey. That sounds so much like my kind of girl. So you wanted to see me? What is it? This is my article. Kayla, your work has been suffering in the past few months. Look at this stuff. It is boring. I did a lot of research on this and I actually poured out my heart in this article. On articles, on puppies and butterflies? It sounds like third grade English paper, Kayla. But sir, that was meant to be metaphoric. I'm sorry, I just can't publish it. I'm paying you to give me your best. But your best just isn't good enough. But I'm also paid to give my opinion. Well, your opinion is a bit too blunt for my liking. So, I'm actually surprised at your distaste for my job. I actually feel a little bit insulted. I think you need to take some time off. You look a little bit stressed out. Stressed? Sir, I'm just... Hey, hey, hey. You remember what I told you about the intense personal? Oh, Andre. What are you doing here? What do you mean, what am I doing here? It's a public library, you know. Look, what are you doing here? Oh, I just came to do some research on some stuff. Mr. Walter thinks I'm boring, so I just came to brush up on my journalism skills a bit. Don't mind that guy just being an ox. Well, no pun intended, but he's really been on my ass for the past few weeks. I don't know what is wrong with him. I mean, I can't do no good. I guess he just want the best out of us, you know. Don't take him too seriously. Okay. Anyway, when are you coming back to the office? Oh, <sighs> you know, I want to take a break for the weekend. I just want to rest and read, you know, catch up on some things. I'll be back soon. Uh, I see. Okay. If you have like uh, five minutes to spare, just give me a call. Okay. Help me. Help you what? Help me. Who are you? Help me. No! No! Help me. No! 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 Who are you? No! Leave me! No! No! Who are you? No!
Oh, hi. Oh, sister. Yes, my dear. How can I help you? Um, sister, I'm actually looking for Sister Mary. That is me. How can I help you? My name is Kayla Johnson. I was told by my mother that I was born here. Holy Mary, Mother of God. You look so much like her. Come, come with me. I've waited so many years for either one of you to return. Either one of us? Sister, is there anyone I should know about? My daughter, your story begins in a very dark place. So painful to recount. Your mother's name was Sister Catherine, a very jovial and dedicated woman. She came to the United States from Nigeria in search of a better life. And she saw the church as a place of happiness. But how was she able to enter the convent with a child? Is that why I was giving up for adoption? No, no, my dear. The story goes way deeper. Your mother was raped. By founding father of this child. Sister Catherine, can I talk to you? God be with you. Sister Catherine, this is the fifth time you were late for prayers. What explanation do you have for the Togness? Pardon me, Mother Mary. It's just that I've not been feeling well for the past couple of days now. But I can assure you, I won't be late again. Fine, Sister Catherine. I'll take your word. Thank you, Sister. God be with you. Please, may I enter? Absolutely not! Please, I beg of you. I just want to apologize for that one night of insanity. It was the devil. Haven't you caused enough trouble? If the sisters find us in here, they'll present us to the church. Leave my room. What about the pregnancy? This pregnancy is no concern of yours, father. Leave my room, or I'll shout and I'll scream. Forgive me. Please, sister, forgive me. Father, leave my room! Sister Catherine, I've been longing to ask you this, but wanted to wait until you're alone. Sister Catherine, you've been looking quite pain lately. I am concerned. Thank you for taking the interest in my well-being. 
I've just been slightly under the weather. A slight flu. But I'm well. Oh then, praise God. Amen. Sister Ruth, all I ask is that you continue to pray for me. Sister Catherine, as always. Now let's go for prayer before we're on this. Sister Mary, please come with me, please. What is the game, Sister Ruth? There is a baby's cry coming out from Sister Catch's room. What? A baby? Come, let's go. Sister Catherine? Sister Catherine? Sister Catherine? Oh my God. Holy Mary. <sighs> Father Michael. I discovered be the one who drove your mother to her death. Years after we found your mother, thou found the note she left behind, revealing all the details. You that rape that produced you and your sister. I have a sister? Well, my dear, now that I met you, I assume Karen will die. Karen? That's my sister. Karen is a twin sister. Adopted by an Nigerian couple. After the adoption was processed, they all went back to Nigeria. Oh my god. Oh my god. But I can't believe what you're telling me. I can't believe this. So my biological father is actually a father in this church? Oh my god. This has been happening. Oh my god! And your poor mother, so ashamed of what have happened to her, took her own life. <laughs> we later heard that your twin sister was killed back in Nigeria. I can't believe these things you're telling me. I can't. <sighs> My dear dad remains a misery to tell. I don't understand why. Why don't you leave the case with local authorities? You know nobody there. You are basically jumping into the lion's den. Head first. I am a journalist by profession. I believe I have the skills to get whatever information I need to get. Besides, my mom's sister still lives there. Sister Mary gave me her contact, so as soon as I arrive, she'll be the first person I go and see. I hope you know what you are doing, Kayla. This case has long been forgotten. Why are you trying to stir things up in a place that you are not even familiar with? Why? My mom, in a sense, was ruthlessly taken by my own father. My sister, who I don't even know, was murdered. Nancy, if I do not close this chapter in my life, then I can't avenge your death. All I need for you to do now is please, please, pray for me.
afternoon, Ma. Good afternoon. May I help you? Um, I'm looking for someone by the name called Joycey. What, what do you need Joycey for? My mom's name was Catherine Okoye. I believe Joycey was my mom's sister. Your mother? Yeah. Excuse me, Ma. Jesus Christ. Ma, I am so sorry to barge in on you, but I really need to know who this Joyce woman is. And from your reaction, I think you know who the person is. Please help me. Get out of my house. Get out of my house now. Please, don't be angry with me. I'm just a journalist. Will you get out of my house before I call the authorities on you? Get out. Get out. Get out. What get out. Get out of my house. Get out. Out of my house. Leave me alone. <sighs> my goodness. <sighs> I, I forgot to tell you. She's here. She is back. Who? I knew that someday she would make the journey. Are you here? Ma, I am here because I want to know about my mother. It, it took me a lot of courage to come all the way to Nigeria, but I'm hoping and praying that you cooperate with me and tell me the things I need to know. There's nothing to know. So I suggest you go back to where you're coming from. Ma, I did not come all the way to Nigeria to be turned around. Please. Do you realize that there's a part of me here that I've never met before? That doesn't concern me, Kayla. All I'm saying here is that you... Kayla? You what? You just called me Kayla. I never told you my name was Kayla. Listen, I, I think it's about time. You, you left me alone, okay? Just, just leave me. Go away. Go... go no! Go. Hell no! I am not going anywhere until you tell me the things that you know that I don't know. Outburst, swearing, and everything. You're just like her. a picture of Catherine and I when we were young. Wait. Hold on. Are you by any chance Auntie Joyce? Yes. Oh my God! Yes, Joyce! Yes, easy, please, please. Sorry, I'm just excited. Auntie Joyce. <laughs> Oh my God! Wow! Catherine and I were very close. All that changed when she turned 16. I don't have money to pay your school fees though. 
You know I'm the only one struggling to cater for you and your younger sister. Oh, Mama, what will I do if I don't go to school? Hmm? Go and work. House cleaning, sell pure water, sell charcoal, sell firewood, anything just to help this household. Sell pure water, Mama. Uh -huh. Mama, pure water. I can't sell pure water. My, my friends will laugh at me now. Your friends will laugh at you. you know. Are they the one paying your school fees? Uh, sit down at home. Sit down. Don't do anything. There is no more food for you in this house. You're back so early. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Welcome, love. <laughs> <laughs> I want to show you what's happening. What is it? Who is that girl? Oh, Who is she? Uh, oh, well, she? Well, she's actually the daughter of my little old school mate. Coincidentally, she went to the pastor to complain about her accommodation problem. The pastor called me and asked me to help. I could not just refuse. So I had to bring her here. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so how long will she be staying? Uh, well, um, not too long. Uh, once she gets a place to stay, off she goes. But you know what? Mm -hmm. She's willing to help around in the house. Really? <laughs> okay. Remember, we need your house help. Mm. I think I will make do with that. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, come on. Come here. <laughs> 
Thank you. <laughs> oh, no. Let's go meet her. Okay. My God, Katrina, yes, what is this you're wearing? What are you trying to do? You are practically naked. Sorry, eh? Now will you get inside and find something to cover that this naked body of us? Eh? If my husband walks in or even his co-worker walks and says you dress this way, what do you want them to think? Now get inside and find something decent to wear. Nonsense girl. Maybe she's even trying to seduce my husband. Who knows? Rubbish. How, how long do you expect me to keep up with this charade? Eh? You promised to give me money for my own house. Now look at me walking as a house up in your house. I don't like it though. I don't like it at all. Ah ah! Oh, come on, Catherine. Calm down. Okay? Calm. But I, I told you already. I'm making an arrangement for your apartment. Just give me some time. Which time? Time. What stupid time? Catherine, come and help me get. Hey! Hey, whoa! Samuel! Samuel! What are you doing with this house, girl? Oh, oh! Hey, 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 hey. Do I look like I'll get in your eye? Eh? Do I look like I'll get in your eye? Don't come and announce like again, no. Don't come and announce, girl. Hey? You still have more to talk. God will punish you today. God will okay. finish you today. God will punish okay. you. It's God will punish you. It's not what you have to leave out. Oh, no. God. You put it's in your different. God will punish you. Honestly, this skin issues baffles me. I have never seen a case like this before. Doctor, is there anything you can do to help me? <sighs> okay, uh, uh, there's a cream I will give you. I'm not sure whether this can cure it permanently, but at least it will help in controlling the itching and the burning. So you take it after your breath in the night. Rub it all over your body. Okay. I believe by the time I come next, I will know how you're feeling. Thank you, Doctor. I'm sorry, my dear. God bless you.
Catherine, your story is a very pathetic and profound one, especially admitting to sin of adultery and fornication. And this happened at a tender age. Father, this was not the life I wanted for myself. I wanted to go to school, to be something in life. Father, I want to be healed. I don't want to live life like this anymore. Catherine, in order to be healed, you have to give your life to Christ and be baptized. That is the only way. And I'm suggesting that you change environment. And to help you to achieve that, there are a group of Catholics that will be coming from America. I'll try to let you to mingle with them so that they are going to put you on the right track. And as for this, you have to be very prayerful and be committed to things of God. That is the only way this evil plague can flee from you. you okay? Yes, Father. Don't worry. Share up. The last time I saw her was when when she came to tell us she was leaving for America. She was starting a new life as a nun in a convent. The Catholic organization had paid for her trip. But Auntie, are you saying that my mom never tried contacting you or my grandmom? She never did. They only contacted us when she died. And of course, you know, they told us about you and your twin sister. Both of them are buried side by side in a place not too far from here. Auntie, about my sister, what happened to her? How did she die? What happened? Look, it's getting late and uh, my husband will soon be back. I, I need to prepare dinner for him. If, if, if you, if you, if you would want to, you, you can stay with us. We have an extra room. Excuse me. Can I see your superior officer, please? I hope there's no problem. No, 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 there's no problem. I just want to... No problem. Sir. Hi. Is there a problem, madam? Um, no, sir. Good day. Yes, good day. My name is Kayla Johnson. Okay. I'm, I'm here to see Detective um, Michael Wilson. Um, well, Michael Wilson has been transferred from this place. Oh. I am the new detective in charge of his office. I'm also handling all the cases he left behind. Is there anywhere I can be of any assistance to you? Oh, okay, sir. Um, like I said, my name is Kayla Johnson. Okay. I'm a journalist visiting from the United States of America. Okay. And I'm here to investigate a death case. A death? Yes, sir. Of whom and for what purpose? A family member. I'm sorry, but you just said you're a journalist. You are not a police officer or a detective. Besides, you have no jurisdiction to investigate any death in this country. Oh, sir, I do understand. I do understand. I promise you I'm not here to cause any trouble. It's just that the death involves my twin sister. And I'm just here to know if you guys have any new information about her death. Who sent you here? Nobody, sir, nobody. I'm just a desperate woman looking for answers. My sister was killed and her case just went unsolved. As a journalist and a surviving sibling, sir, please, you should understand my plight. I just want to know if you have any information about her death. Do you have any kind of identification? Because we don't want any troubles here. Oh, yes, I do. I do. I do. Yeah.
It's, 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 it's there any way you could help me with any information? Please. What was your sister's name? Oh, her name was Karen Okonta. Karen Okonta. Hmm. That name sounds very familiar. Does it? Um, well, um, I was actually on my way out. I mean, I'm done for the day. Um, why don't we reschedule this meeting for tomorrow? And maybe I can take your statement and then we can pick up from there. Oh, fair enough, sir. I'll come tomorrow. All right. Then. I'm so sorry for disturbing you. Ah, no problems at all. All right. Thank you. All right. Thank see you so much. Yeah, you're all right. See you tomorrow. Then. Okay. Bye. Have a great day. Hmm. Are you alright? <laughs> Sir, I'm not alright. My bag got stolen by some culprit and he got away with it. Oh my goodness. Uh, look, I'm so sorry about that. These things happen around here all the time. And it's as if the police station does not even scare them one bit. Ah! Uh, do you need a ride or something? I don't have a choice. All my money is inside the purse. Well, come here. Let me give you a ride. Oh, okay. Thank you. Please do. I'm so sorry. Eh? All right. Thank uh, you. Come in, please. Come in. Oh. Um, thank you. The guy just snatched my bag and nobody could even do anything about it. I'm so sorry about that. I went through the case file of Karen Okonta. Oh, you did? Okay. What did it say? Her body was found in a ditch. After she was raped and strangled to death. What? Her killer was never found. Raped and strangled? It was a very sad and pathetic <sighs> case. Oh my God. <sighs> well, well, sir, do, do you have an address that she used to live in before she was killed? I am very sorry, but that is a classified information. I cannot release it to you. Oh, sir, please. Sir, please, I beg you in God's name, please, help me. I came all the way to Nigeria just to investigate this case. Please, this is my twin sister we're talking about. Please, help me, sir. Please. This was the address found on her ID card okay. when her body was found. I don't want you to come looking for me here again. 
Like I said before, I don't want any troubles. I don't want to lose my job giving out classified information to an American journalist. If you must see me again, I prefer we do it somewhere else. Hi. Hello. Hi. Uh, are you looking for someone? That house is empty. Yes. Um. Uh, do you live around here? Oh, I live next door. Okay. I'm actually looking for the people that live here. You mean Mrs. Joyce and her uh, husband, George? They used to live there. What? Yes. Mrs. Joyce and Mr. George? Yes. The, the couple that lives with their knees, they won't find dead by the dish. They used to live there. What are you hiding from me? Kika, what is it? What are you hiding from me? How dare you shout at me in my own compound? Is something wrong with you? I'm talking about my sister, Karen. I've told you everything you need to know about your sister. Why didn't you tell me that she used to live with you guys before she died? Yes! I have proof that Karen used to live with you and Uncle John before she died. Why didn't you tell me? What are you hiding from me? Tell me! Listen, her death was one of the worst things I was forced to endure. Do you understand me? When I heard that your mom was dead, I went to the States to pick you up. Unfortunately, when I got there, you were adopted already. I brought Karen home. I, I, I brought her home from where she was a baby until the day she disappeared. George and I, we brought her up as a baby, as part of us. Then, one day, she disappeared. God, I see who killed my sister. Who? No, who killed your sister? I don't know. George and I figured that maybe one of your mother's ex maybe wanted to take revenge. I don't know. I don't know who killed your sister. <laughs> she, she was my baby. I loved Karen. I, 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 I picked her up as a baby. I, 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 I saw her grow. I saw her grow until... I need to see you now. Yes, right away. All right. Please, 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 please. I think that's enough. Getting drunk is not going to solve your problems. Please. Detective. <laughs> Detective. <laughs> 
But I cannot believe that my aunt kept such vital information away from me. Like, I, I don't get it. You have to understand, Kayla. This was an unsolved case. People are still hurting from it. She may have some good reasons for not saying anything. She just probably didn't want you to get hurt. <laughs> she didn't want me to get hurt. <laughs> so, so now I'm fine, right? <laughs> You're so nice. <laughs> you just have the right words to say. <laughs> anyway, the damage is done already, and uh, uh, seriously, detective, I don't Please know. Call me today. To me. I spent years in school. Oh, I spent hours at work. Trying so, so hard to perfect my craft. So trust me, there is no way, <laughs> no way I'm going to let my sister's death Haunt me forever. I am going to look for the person that killed my sister. I have to. I just have to. Her name is... Uh, Hi. My name is Kayla Johnson. And I'm so sorry. He's just helping me out in the case. A case! A case, you said! At a bar! A case! I'm sorry. I was the one who asked him to come here. I promise you he's not doing anything bad. Well, I am Tobe's wife. And I do not appreciate this behavior. Case or no case. He shouldn't be seen in this kind of environment with a woman. He shouldn't. I'm done now, sweetheart. Don't tell me to calm down. What was your arm doing around her? Okay. Is that part of the case? Okay. You, you know what? Let me, I just, let, me, let me just leave, okay? I'm so sorry for... Get on me! I, I am... Don't I'm, matter. Don't I'm so sorry. Tobe! May their souls rest in peace. Amen. Auntie, you know what's so funny what they say about swings? What is that? We will feel each other's pain. We will feel each other's happiness. Even in life and death. My sister Karen has been trying so hard, so hard to reach out to me. 
I see honestly, I do not know the impact it's going to have in my life from now on at all. Come on, baby. <laughs> you've done so well. I mean, you've given Karen a voice. A voice that was snatched from her a bit too early. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. You'll be fine. You'll be fine, Keita. Kayla! Oh, hi! <laughs> A surprise? Well, um, I didn't expect to see you again so soon after what happened last night. Oh. To be very honest, I think we went a little bit overboard. Well, <laughs> so what brings you here? Well, detective, I'm traveling back to the U.S. in a few days' time. So I thought to come and say thank you for everything you've done for me. You're leaving on so soon? Yes, I am. To be very honest, my trip wasn't as easy as I thought it was going to be. Mm. Moreover, I need to go back to work. So... What are your plans when you get back to the States? Are you going to keep fighting to unravel the mystery of your sister's death? Well, I probably might just drown myself in work, but I promise to keep fighting for her. I believe she deserves it, so I will not stop fighting. She does. All right, now, I wish you the very best in everything you do, eh? Thank you so much. Good luck to you. Thank you. And I really appreciate everything you did for me. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Mm. Take care of yourself. I will. And I hope I did not cause any matrimonial problems between you ah, and me. No, 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 that's not at all. Are I'm you sure? Yeah, nothing. <laughs> I'm taking care of that, eh? Okay. Okay. All right. Say me well to your wife, okay? I will, I will, eh? Right. Have a safe trip back to the U.S. Thank you so much. All right, now. All right, take care. Hey, thank you. Right, bye. You too, eh? Bye. <laughs> And see, mm -hmm. um, I'll be leaving for the States in a few days' time. So soon? Yes. I need to go back to work. Moreover, my mother is... My adopted mother. She's worried about me. I'm so sorry you didn't get the answers you came to find. It's okay. At least I found you. Hmm? I have a piece of my mom in you. There's something I would like to give you. Okay, a minute. Yeah. Here, yeah. this belonged to your mother. Really? Yes. Oh Wait, wrap it, use it any way you want to. And I'm sure it will get you close to your mother. Oh, Auntie, I appreciate it so much. Oh my God, this is so beautiful. That's okay, Nick. Thank you so much, Auntie, I appreciate it. Okay. Just make sure you visit often, okay? I will. I will. Nigeria is far away, but I, I consider it my second home. And I promise you, I'm going to make an effort to come. Okay? I'll miss you. I'll miss you too. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. I appreciate it. <laughs> Ooh, let me have your plate.
Oh, God. You make a sound. Okay. Just lay back. Enjoy this. And nobody will be hurt. Huh? Oh, God, please, no. Please. <laughs> you think I'll let you go back to America? Just like that? Without me having a feel of your succulent body. No way. Oh, George, please. Shh. Please, I beg you with God, don't wake You're me. Oh, God, dead. please. Wake up, my wife. Understood. <laughs> <laughs> Look at your succulent body. Oh, my God. <laughs> So much sexier than your sisters. <laughs> oh, did you kill my sister? Oh, yes. I killed her. I killed that stupid girl for refusing me sex. Oh, yes. And if you don't give me what I want, I'll do exactly the same thing to you. You love showing off your body, don't you? <laughs> Just like your mother. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> don't act like you don't like it. <laughs> After all, you were both seeds of the biggest prostitute that this town ever saw. <laughs> now, let's get down to business. <laughs> don't worry, you will enjoy it. I'll give it to you. Hot, hot, hot. Just the same way. Give it to your sister. Come on. <laughs> Let's get down to business. No, Jude. No, no. Oh, get your face out of my butt. Shut up. Ah! Oh, God. Give it. Hot, hot, hot. Hot, hot, hot. Hot, hot, hot. Hot, hot, hot. He's, he's coming around. <laughs> Everything you said to us is truth. Your husband there has confessed to us how he raped Miss Karen Okonta, strangled her to death, and dumped her body in a ditch. This case would be charged to court very soon.
Garen. Garen, sweetie. Hey, okay, you are doing your schoolwork. Oh my God, intelligent girl. You, 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 you are looking so, so beautiful today. <laughs> Uncle, Uncle John, leave me alone. No. Leave me alone. No. Can't you see that I'm doing my homework? Leave me alone. Ah, Karen. Why are you always upset each time I'm, I'm around? Eh? Oh, Karen. Okay. Hmm? <laughs> okay. Don't you love your uncle? Eh? Don't you? Your uncle loves you. <laughs> eh? You look at you looking so sweet. You are just as sweet as your mother. <laughs> uncle George, leave me alone, no? Leave me alone. If you don't leave me alone now, I I'm going to tell Auntie Joy that you used to come and disturb me. Huh? Yes. You tell Auntie Joy what? Listen, let me tell you. If you open this your mouth to tell any lies about me to your auntie, I will cut off your tongue. Tell, tell Auntie Joy what? No sense. Look at you. Look at you. Mm -hmm. That's how you be denying your uncle all these benefits. You why you, you be giving it to all those small, small boys. Mm -hmm. Karen told me you've been molesting her. Is it true? Is, is this the price I have to pay for raising Karen as, as my... Oh, no. oh my God. I... And to think that you believed her. No, no, no. It's not that I believed her. No, no, it's okay. It's okay. I'm so just confused. It's okay. I, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I should have known better. One thing I know for sure is that for every genuine servant of God, there is a cross. I guess this is mine and I'll have to carry it. Joyce, do you want to hear the truth? Needs deliverance. Let's not allow the devil to destroy that child. We may not have a child of our own, but God has blessed us with Karen. And it behoves us to raise her like our own. How she is our own. Just how could you rape my niece, our daughter, a child we brought up as a baby? How could you rape and kill her, George? Judge, how could you rape and strangle Karen to death? How could you? God, I can't believe this. And you still went ahead to rape the other? Did you have a conscience? I am so ashamed of you. You are so cold and calculating. How could you? To think that we've been married for 20 good years and I never noticed anything. I do hate you. I, I can't even stand to look at you because you are sick. May you rot in hell. Officer, I need to get out for some fresh air. This man is sick. It's, it's all right. <sighs> Honestly, killer, <clears throat> I still cannot believe you were able to find your sister's killer. I commend you for that. Thank you so much, sir. I still can't believe it myself. 
But I have a feeling my sister's spirit helped me. <laughs> well, if you say so, if you say so. <laughs> I know I've only known you for a few weeks now, but honestly, you have really touched my life in ways that I cannot explain. Oh, Detective, me too. Make sure you keep in touch, okay? Oh, of course I will, of course. <laughs> and you should really consider taking up a job with the Nigerian police force. I mean, you make a wonderful detective. Really? Uh -huh. No, I don't, I don't <laughs> think so. <laughs> well, I hope the driver puts all your luggage in the, yes. in the car. Yes, it's packed everything. All right. Mm -hmm. Auntie, yes. I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for everything. I pray that the good Lord bless you. Hmm? Thank you. I really can't begin to tell you how sorry I am about what has happened. Honestly, I, I, I can't express the way I feel in the innermost of my heart. To think that I, I lived with this man for years. I loved and cherished him. I'm so ashamed of myself. It's okay. It's okay. There's no need for you to be ashamed. I mean, there was no way you'd have known. The most important thing is that he's behind bars now. Yes. And my sister can finally rest in peace. Yes. Yeah? Our soul will rest in peace. Amen. Anyway, Auntie, I need to rush to the airport now. My flight is in like two hours. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. But I promise, Auntie, I'm going to call you as soon as I get back, okay? You will? I will. You promise? I will. I'll miss you. I'll miss you too. Okay. I'll walk you off. Thank you. Auntie, take care of yourself. Be good. Be I good. will. Keep in touch. I will. You are all I have now. I will, I know. <laughs> When the sun kills the sky When the moon then say the night Every living thing they will come to life When the truth's upon the play Where you go there, where you go there Tell me what thing you go to Yeah, you know they see yeah, you know they see, yeah, you know they see something Yeah, you go there, yeah, you go there Tell me what thing you go through Yeah, you know they see, yeah, you know they see Oh, don't you cast a stone Don't you cast a stone If you never talk about it The big things Don't come from the smaller thing Oh, don't you cast don't you cast a stone if you never talk about it The big things, they come from the smaller things When the sun kisses the sky When the moon says the night Every hidden thing, they will come to life When the truth from the place where yeah, you go there, where yeah, you go there Tell me where thing you go to Yeah, you know they see, yeah, you know they see Yeah, you know they see something Where yeah, you go there, where yeah, you go there Tell me where thing you go to Yeah, you know they see, yeah, you know they see Oh, don't you 